Hey, I'm Dirk Broser, Classic Drive Television. Today we're in the shop, and you know we like to show you supplies and tools that we use here and that we think might benefit you. Today I'm going to talk about screwdrivers. First, I got to get this off my chest. I admit I screw up screws. I go to the toolbox, I grab the first screwdriver that's handy, I grab it. Half the time I'm grabbing the wrong tool for the job. Lo and behold, I strip the screw, or even worse, I slip and I damage something along the way. But you know something? There's an answer to this. In 1936, a company called Chapman Manufacturing came out with a toolkit that was insert-based in an innovative small ratchet designed to get into small spaces and gave you the torque you needed to get those tight screws out and to place them incorrectly. Now, the real problem here, the screwdriver itself is what's at fault. High school geometry will tell you what the issue is. Take Take a screw, a standard screwdriver tip, and these are oversized for the purposes. I place it in, it's loose. Okay, first off, I'm not gonna get full engagement. The other thing is, screwdrivers are long. That means a small difference in angle is gonna have less tip engagement in the slot, the Phillips, or whatever you happen to be driving. So the answer to this is making sure that you've got the right tip for the job and the tip actually fits the screwdriver. Take a look at this fine people that Chapman gave us. Look at this, perfectly stands up, means you're gonna get full engagement in the screw when you go to turn it. Again, take a standard tip, falls out. I don't get the engagement I need. Now Chapman was uh, good enough to send some people down to talk to us, I'd like to introduce Joel. Joel, come on in and tell us about the tools. Glad to be here. Thanks for coming on down to see us. Well, as I was telling you, you know, um, I've screwed up screws before and it's come from, you know, just using the wrong tool from the job or screwdrivers have been worn or used as chisels and somehow they always manage to get back in my toolbox. But when I discovered Chapman, I started using it and realized that getting into tight spaces, having the right tip handy uh, was going to make the difference and make it better for the work that I do. I, I couldn't, uh, you know, I couldn't find anything better and, and to learn the company's been around since 1936. It's been making everything it sells in the United States right here is just the best part of it all. So, you know, how did you get involved in, you know, you know why, uh, why are you keeping on, why are you holding the banner up? Why, why not just send this over to China and, you know, be done with it? Well, um, if we sent, sent it to China, I'd lose my job. So that's the first issue. Secondly, um, you know, unlike a lot of companies, we've been here since 1936. We've never left. Fun fact, we've been in the same building since 1965. Some of the same people are still there, certainly some of the same office chairs. And we've been making tool sets. Um, you know, I'm proud to be an American manufacturer. We make everything um, in Durham. All of our suppliers are in the local area. And we've been making essentially the same thing since 1936. So that tells you it's a pretty good product. That does. And that's Durham, Connecticut, actually, right? Durham, Connecticut. Yeah, yep. sure. So the neat thing about this kit is how small it is relative to the number of tools that you get. Now, they do have different kits and different configurations and things like this, but we're looking at one of the more extensive kits. Is that right? Yep. Actually, our largest set is our best-selling set. It has um, 51 screwdriver bits and four different tools you can use, all interchangeable off a quarter-inch uh, hex drive. So one of the neat things I were talking a little bit earlier about was the size of the ratchet. That really defines things about tight spaces and the ability to get things. And before the show, you were telling me that this uh, actually can exert up to 200 inch pounds of uh, yeah. torque. 200 inch pounds, as you can see, we, it's a very small quarter inch hex drive ratchet and all of our bits fit snug into it. That's awesome. So, so not only does this fit nicely, how the actual ratchet works is it has an in and an out on both sides. So it's simply flipping over the uh, tool, whether you're putting it in or taking it out. And it's got this really neat, small spring-loaded ball bearing that keeps that tool together so it's not gonna fall out. If you've ever bought those cheap kits and tried to pull stuff together, they, they just tend to fall out. You take masking tape, you try to get to hold them in. But this is boom, you're ready to rock and roll. Yep, and the system um, we've had, the ball detent system we've been using since 1936, and people still use parts from that age, so it's not like it's going to wear out. The ratchet you can also use with an extension for an offset ratchet, which is useful for getting bolts or screws around a corner right. or deep into a hole that you normally can't use if you don't have a lot of space, like against a firewall or something right, like that. Right, right, yep. 
So, so not only do I have a ratchet that allows me to put horizontal torque on the screw the best way I need it, rather than pushing hard on the screwdriver, being off angle, I've got this nice ratchet that sticks out from the side, so I'm able to get the right feel and the right torque with a bit that fits the screw to begin with. And so I've got Phillips, slotted, metric, and standard hex key, and of course torques and some other things as well that are available. Now one of the neat things for a car guy is you actually have have the quarter inch adapter for sockets. Yep, that's really useful for cars. Very small quarter inch uh, hex to quarter inch square adapter, so it should fit any quarter inch um, socket. And you can use it in conjunction with any of our tools. So I could be putting the socket right on the end, putting the ratchet in, or I could put it in the handle for close up work or things like that if exactly. I wanted. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You can even use it. Um, the master set has a short two inch extension. Oh. Um, which seems like a you know a misnomer, a short extension, but it actually is pretty useful for very tight spaces. It is, it is. Sometimes it's not about how long or big something is, it's about how small it is and how tight a space I can get in. We've all struggled with trying to get, you know, right angle screwdrivers and things like that in a spot, only to find out that we're marring or hurting the screw that we're trying to take out. So having the right tool, the right size, really makes a difference. You also even addressed some of the very, very tiny screws, didn't you? You have a small uh, a, a thumb knot. Is that is that what yeah. I call it? Yep, we actually invented this for our own use because we couldn't reach a screw in our machine. So we came up with this, what we call a spinner. Um, if you only have one finger available in a really s small spot, or you can use it to turn or hand tighten um, very small, delicate screws that you really don't want to over torque. Right, right. So these are used in all kinds of industries. I know that uh, precision gun making uses this for some of the very sensitive and small screws. The military, of course, uses it. And you were telling me before the show that he, uh, a, a Chapman Manufacturing tool coat was even on the first nuclear sub, the Nautilus. Yep, we are on the Nautilus. Every branch of the military purchases, purchases our tools. Our toolkits are on the bottom of several large bodies of water. I know the Pacific Ocean and the Black Sea. Um, we're used on space equipment. Has one been to space? I don't know. I wouldn't doubt it, honestly. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we end up in a lot of cool spots. You do. You do. You know, it's a great tool. It's a great toolkit to really replace those aging screwdrivers that you've got in your box. I keep it with me. In fact, we're taking it to Peking to Paris just to make sure that we got the right tool in the right place at the right time. So you should be looking for Chapman to, in your shop. Joel, where can I find these? Where can I buy them? ChapmanMFG.com. You can also buy open stock um, parts. We sell everything individually. Uh, so if you lose a bit, um, you can purchase another one or any other individual parts you need. That's terrific. So I can find them online and, um, uh, you know, American company making it from the right materials. This is something you should have in your shop. I'm Dirk Burser, Classic Drive Television. Thanks for joining us.